Hi again, it's me, the wise guy. Welcome to my basement. I realize I probably didn't show you uh, the electrostatic sparks as well as I could have in the first segment uh, this morning, so I thought I would try to do it one more time and have it make a little more sense for you. Okay, so I have the same setup that we had back at the physics building. We have the styrofoam plate that's attached to my little uh, workmate here, and I have my wool sock. I, when I rub the styrofoam plate with the wool sock, what happens is there are some electrons which are on the wool sock, which basically get transferred down to the styrofoam plate. Both of these things are insulators, but the styrofoam is an insulator that grabs a hold tighter to electrons than the wool sock does. So once the electrons happen to just blunder off the sock onto the plate, they don't come back onto the sock generally because the plate hangs onto them much tighter. So now this white thing is quite negative because it has electrons stuck on the surface. Static electricity, by the way, static means that there isn't motion. So these electrons are just stuck there. They're not moving. Okay, here I have the aluminum plate with a plastic straw that's been taped to it just so I can pick up the plate without actually touching it with my hand and removing any charges accidentally. So this aluminum plate now, I'm going to put it down on top of this negative white thing. <coughs> the negative white thing, okay, is going to have an effect on this aluminum plate. First of all, realize that the aluminum plate is a conductor, so the electrons in the aluminum plate can move around very easily, not at all like an insulator. Okay, so right now, the electrons in the aluminum plate are being repelled by the electrons which are stuck on the white plate and they're getting as far away from those electrons on the white plate as they can so they all go and they try to sit around the top edge around here and use more than do uh, than sit elsewhere so when I bring my finger up here those electrons realize gee I can jump to Max's finger that'll help me get even farther away from the electrons which are stuck on the white plate so there was a little spark there I could feel it even though you couldn't see it so right now the electrons have jumped off the aluminum plate, that means the aluminum plate is positive. Okay? Now when I lift it up here, and it's high, and it's away from this thing, this thing no longer wants to be positive. There's no reason for it to be. Things generally want to be neutral, so when I bring my finger back up uh, against this thing, I get a little spark and the electrons jump back on. Now this thing is neutral, but when I bring it back down next to this white plate with all the negative charges stuck on it again, it realizes, ooh, I want to be positive. I want to get away from the uh, electrons on the white plate, okay, so it jumps back to my finger. Okay, so when it's down here, the aluminum plate wants to be positive because it's next to this negative thing, and unlike charges attract. When I lift it up here, this thing is positive all by itself. It just wants to be neutral, so it wants to steal some electrons back. And that's how that works. And you can't see that spark, but you can if I use this light bulb. So let me just dim the lights. Okay. Here we go. Now, instead of touching it with my finger, I'll just touch it with this fluorescent bulb. And you saw a little flash there. That was the electrons jumping off the plate onto this bulb. When I lift it up, the plate wants electrons back. And you, you see a little flash when they jump. So every time the electrons jump either off the plate or back onto the plate, you see a little flash. Okay? So you can get one of these fluorescent dust bulbs if you walk around your own house, getting your socks all charged up on the carpet, then you touch the bulb to a doorknob, for example, you'll see a little spark. Okay? So the bulb is a good way to see when you have static electricity moving around because you see a little flash. And now hopefully you understand how this thing works. Okay? That's it. By the way, I'm in my basement here. That's why it's a little bit messy. Hope you don't mind. See you next Wednesday.